there are two um, main additions, two main improvements to the RobotFX Fluid Expert Advisor, the last version which is 7.4 and these are, first of all, let's start with the hardest one, uh, Recalculate Hedge Trade Button. I've, uh, oh. I've been trying to shoot this uh, video before. I uh, had some problems with the microphone, so I had these trades open here. And by the way, I'm doing this on a demo because I will open some random orders just to show you how it works. So, the recalculate hedge uh, trade uh, button works only when you have the hedge setting set to hedge zone, allow hedge, hedge zone and the show button set to true. Uh, show buttons being the previous show buy sell buttons, okay? So this will be set to true and if you choose hedge zone then this button will appear, recalculate hedge trade. Uh, does nothing now because there are no orders on the chart. So what it does, let's say you have an open buy uh, trade, right? An open long trade op on the chart. Uh, the expert advisor automatically places the hedge trade the opposite side, okay? Um, at the distance, at the stop loss distance, which is in my case 50 pips, the default setting. Well, if for some reason you have later opened more than one, and uh, now you have more, and maybe the expert advisor will, uh, will uh, go up in your favor, trigger some uh, trailing stop, then come back, trigger the stop loss, exit some trades, you might want to click the recalculate hedge trade and then the expert advisor will delete the pending order the initial pending order which is sell stop 0 0.02 which is no more no more valid for this uh, this trade because even if the price will go down and trigger the sell stop this is not enough to cover the loss right we have uh, much more buys than sells uh, talking about lot size so Click the recalculate hedge trade button. Sorry. The expert advisor deletes the pending order and creates another one. This time to match the the well to match the the open orders. So in case the price will go down, right, and trigger this pending sell stop the size of the, the sell order will be much higher than the buys and so eventually the profit will increase profit which is now negative okay the second uh, addition to this expert advisor is the ability for the expert advisor to draw a background color it's actually it's a rectangle and if you have troubles with it change the time frame forth and back like for example right click and you cannot choose the indicators because this is a rectangle as you can see it's just a drawn rectangle. Click here on the date okay I want to, to enter the expert advisor settings I cannot this uh, well draw down but it's not so inconvenient the idea is if you have the trend detector enabled and you follow the trend detector to enter, exit your trades, manage your trades. Um, if you set this to true, the second option, draw background trend color. Also, you can choose your own colors if you want. Then the expert advisor will draw this rectangle as a background color um, for each of the situations where the trend is uh, either up or down. And by the way, we, the same criteria as we use to determine the trend. Price above the slow moving average and fast moving average above the, the medium moving average, the trend is considered up, as in this situation. And then the expert advisor, having the background trend uh, color set to true, will draw this rectangle green. Um, otherwise, if the price is down under the slow moving average and the fast moving average uh, below the medium moving average, then the, the trend is down and it will change the color to plum. I think the one is that. If that combination doesn't, uh, doesn't work, then there will be no background color. 
here for example uh, the price is somewhere above the um, or still below the 200 moving average and uh, sorry so many things as for my settings it's a simple one it's still below the 200 moving average uh, but probably the 30 and 40 sorry the 30 and 55 already intersected and you have of course the, the possibility to change the settings of these moving averages and I suggest you change them to match your trading style, your pair, um, your time frame and so on don't need to follow the default settings okay so in this situation uh, they don't match the, the price should be above the 200 moving average for the color to change so you know you maybe you might want to uh, you should wait a little more uh, let the price rise for example and then enter buy long and the next swing down just a trade example um, on the other hand on the weekly chart the price is below the 200 moving average let's make this a little thicker and the um, uh, fast moving average below the medium moving average it is a trend down on M15 it is a trend up and uh, um, again this is a rectangle if you click and draw on the chart you can draw it anywhere uh, if you change the time frame it will come back if you have problems uh, trying to, to get the, uh, some indicator uh, settings let's say in this here I cannot choose the menu to show me the, the indicators, expert advisor and so on because as I said the background color is, is just a rectangle okay that moves if you drag it then click here on the date or in the right here on the price and here uh, there is no rectangle there is no background uh, you have the option to, to play with your indicators and uh, delete them if you want or edit them. The idea was to get rid of the moving averages and get rid of some other trend indicators to leave the chart more empty, clear um, to make the trades more visible, right? And the trading opportunities don't have a chart which is too loaded, too crowded uh, it will give you a headache and you will understand nothing. Okay, so these were the additions.